the hazy, bright shine, bright bright man. Wake up, get that road work. Push it, let's go. Hey, hey, push, push, push. Hey. 11 miles in the books, total, baby. This is how you doing. This is done by 10 miles, baby. No, 11.22 miles, baby. Hey. Don't shoot by now, I was in the fire meeting. But Leo Sanchez and his crazy coach go go nuts with the with the media people. You know the yoga instructor guy, Leo's coach, Joe Fabia. He's into it with freaking was it the fighter guy named uh, Paul Fedor and uh May Olivio also gets put in their two cents. You know, so it's, it's a crazy event, but what I didn't know was something that I thought was even crazier than that. They got a hold of the camera, you know, right before Driver Faber gets into the scene because he says, hold this. That guy holding the camera is freaking Stephen Bonner. I was watching this video, I was so into you know, what's going on. You know, I didn't realize, you know, wait, is that Stephen Bonner's voice? Is Stephen Bonner is, is into this too? Dude, this is crazy. Yeah, Driver Faber. He's some kind of manipulator, man. Because I met Stephen Bonner, you know, like one of the, all those in the fighter. No, the aftermath, he was one of the hosts, you know, doing some Q and A. He's a real smart guy, you know, he's a black belt, you know, gold Gold's champion. Like, you know, like, I've talked to him, he's like, man, he's a real cool guy, man. He seems hip, seems smart. Like, I wouldn't think like he's the type of guy to, you know, fall for something like this or be under this guy's spell. And so I guess the whole time, Tim Bonner is like, oh, holding the camera, he's like filming, and like, dude, just gonna show like you just never know, man. I get Diego Sanchez, you know, he's doing the divorce. There's a lot of problems. He left um, Greg Jackson's, you know, so there's no camp in front of the rated press, so he's very vulnerable, you know. So I got a Joshua Faber comes in, starts sweet talking to you, saying he's this, he's that, and he's gonna train you, be your man, take care of everything. Okay, yeah, so you fall for it. So, so you know, we, we're down, and you know, you're desperate, you know. You, know, you just want some type of hope. This guy comes in and gives you hope. Like you want help. You know, like it's perfect. You know, f f on Diego's standpoint, I understand why he would give in to someone like Joshua Fabia. But Stephen Bonner, you know, I, th I thought he was doing all right. You know, he was uh, doing pro wrestling. You know, and I, I thought I thought he was all right, but I guess not, man. Like, get some guy like Joshua Fabia talking, talking to being part of his cult. I think Jaja Fabio is a freaking idiot, he's a jerk, you know. I don't want to mess him up, but I remember saw him, you know, I just called him out, hey, did you throw this fight? But now that he has freaking Joe Sanchez and Stephen Bond on his side, like two guys are pretty good at fighting, you know, they were keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> it was down to a ground grove, freaking, freaking King Stephen Clark, freaking dude, what's business now? And freaking jump in the back of an alley or something. <laughs> I got that joke, don't. don't don't two on one people and don't jump people. You know, that's a, that's a very third mentality. Just being a joke. You know, that's not martial artists. As crazy as this is, you know, you know it's a bit of entertainment in the community, you know. I'm kind of excited to see what happens next with Joy Fabia and his freaking coat. I'm almost excited to see who else he's going to brainwash. See into the, the, the house of uh, awareness or something like that. Yeah, this guy freaking is like a, a whole army of uh, army fighters to under his wing. To be under the freaking school of self-awareness. That'd be freaking crazy. Imagine all these guys. UFC hits him as the manager, freaking uh trainer. He's gonna be the freaking freaking uh health guy. To all these MMA fighters from Bellator, UFC, Ryzen, freaking whatever. And then he's gonna he might, be the, he might be the best manager ever. Uh, I doubt that. He 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 doesn't know anything. Same thing with the, I saw another video with Diego Sanchez hanging upside down. The general fighter is really just punching him in the face. I'm gonna do this sad, man. I hope Diego wakes up and gives him real help, man. It's crazy right now, but 
Let me know down below what you think about Tony Fabia. Any questions for me, on the title and cover, please comment below. I'll be reading it back to you guys. Until next time, guys, fire die. Hey.